Welcome back to a lecture series on uh, map layout and its uh, GIS and its elements in GIS. Map layout is uh, the important parameter. Whatever the do work we do, uh, we should know how to serve it to the expected community or expected society or how you are going to serve your map uh, in an attractive way. There are many uh, things are there in this in map layout, uh, people used to sp I mean, speak about this in cartography. But uh, as, as uh, a map making person that are a person working with GIS, we also should know about this. And, uh, and once if you want to explain about this map, I mean layout, um, it is nothing but collection of map element, virtual page for map printing. What are the parameters? Scale, North, Title, Descriptive text, legend, geographic reference, grids, graticals. Now, all these things are there here title, main map, location map, detail map, legend, inserted picture, north arrow, sorry, scale bar, graticle, neat line, and title. So, all this is there. There are three steps are involved in preparing the layout. The first step is uh, the after analysis uh, change the layout window after you know in the map window you will have to bring it to the layout window and enable the layout to toolbar second one and arrange the layout and insert insert the layout elements. So there are three steps we are now going to do with uh, the preparation of map layout. This is the map window. Uh, you have done all your analysis of digitization of geomorphic features. So this is the digitized output of it. And once if the digitized output are there, then now you can see the different, uh, I mean, attribute and uh, you have prepared a different, you know, features like sand, water body, fallow land and everything. Now, uh, what you have to do is you will have to change the layout. You see, this is the data view. Now, this is layout view. You see the bottom, this is layout view. If you click the layout view, the layout window will come. In this layout window, now we are going to add all the elements of layout. And for that, what we have to do, we have to right click on the top main bar. I, we have already opened the layout. I am just showing you how to open. You just click the layout. Automatically, the layout window will come at the bottom. So, this is the layout window. Layout to toolbar. Change layout. Uh, then this last, do you want a blank layout or already, you know, set of uh, architectural page layout. Uh, North American, ISO and so many, I mean, uh, templates will come and if you are in need of, you can take the same template and use it for your study or if you want to create on your own, you can also create and keep it as a template for your future studies. So, this is how we do for industry, for USA, for world, for traditional layout and uh, so many, so many, so many things are there that you just explore in the select template. Right, focus uh, now, this is the one. Uh, and I am just uh, I am just in taking page and print uh, setup bar and in the page and print setup bar and uh, you, you have to set your what size you are going to it is normal page setup uh, properties of either word or the other tools which we are using in MS office so select everything and, uh, this menu is uh, now you are uh, well aware of it. I, I, I think I don't uh, want to explain. I will just uh, surf this and then you look at and then understand that how to use these uh, windows effectively for setting up your uh, page layout. First, we have to set the page. Page setup for taking printout and then after that, mm, we have to do the uh, map layout. Now, paper uh, page is set. That is the data frame uh, window. You can even extend to the whole page uh, data frame so that all your data will come within uh, the total page. Zoom it to the maximum level. 
I mean, extend it to the maximum level. And you see the property, this data frame property. In this data frame, we are now going to give all uh, the, what is that, uh, that long details, coordinates. Now give the gap uh, between the x points and y points 50. Uh, you see now it's uh, the gap on all sides or uh, the data frame is fixed with respect to the pay setup. If you want you can uh, depending upon the binding side you can extend either on the top or the left or the bottom and you can zoom the map to the data frame. Now it is zoomed to the maximum size. You can uh, pan uh, the map to fix uh, with the data frame with the full extent I am now doing. You can fix, uh, suppose if you have key map or if you have any other photos to be added in this, uh, maybe accordingly you just fix, uh, I mean, the data frame in such a way that to keep all your information inside the map. You resize, uh, what is that, resize the data frame to fix with respect to the map content is concerned. Normally, it should be with full uh, full in size. So, use all uh, tools in the bottom for map layout, and uh, you just you make it. Uh, once if you change it automatically, this will change. You you first you carefully do it. You have to select the data frame and do right click and also check whether it is a data frame and select that particular data frame and even still it is not coming. Do undo. Uh, control is that you put automatically this will go otherwise put escape automatically this will go carefully you just resize uh, to fix the data frame into the map that is very important that every time uh, we will have to fix with the map window and once uh, we do that very perfectly it will take little time because uh, uh, we are now doing parallel movie also Yes, now it is slightly adjusted on all sides. Now pan the map and fix with the data frame. Yes, fixed with the data frame. Right. Zoom it. Yes, it is okay. Pan. It will take little time for you to do it in the first time, but if you do it continuously. Uh, every day, I think uh, this uh, will resolve the issues. Okay. Right click and then uh, go to symbology in the category. And you have to uh, change the color of your map. That it means you'll have to give. Area feature class, you have three, four sand, uh, water body, shallow land. In the attribute table, you check uh, what field you are going to take for this. You, you have to take feature class, not area feature class. Based on this classification, now the map is going to um, go to symbology, go to category, and um, add uh, feature class. Add feature class, uh, disable, add all values. You have now three fields like. Uh, Hello land and uh, apply. Um, there is a spelling mistake in fellow land and uh, apply into OK. Um, now you see your maps, what you have done digitized uh, is now displayed in the form of colors. Apply and OK. Now your map has come. Uh, you have to now select the nice overlay and then you have a color color now. You have to take sand. And the cropland uh, is being represented like this. 
in the water body like blue color you give now you see it looks like a real map of uh, the ground data information now you label the features you can label the features uh, go to label tick a feature class and set your font uh, size and its details yes here i have to take feature class now i have to set the font size font type font color everything yes apply okay now you look at that it is displayed over the um, features every features now you have your legend now after the analysis of layout window enable the layout toolbar arrange the layout and insert the layout element now you are going to add a scale bar north arrow map title descriptive text and legend uh, and let along other details right click properties and go to uh, grid in the grid you have to select next view next you have to select labels only and you have to uh, unselect uh, minor ticks give ok apply and uh, now you see you have everything the lat long details have come uh, at all sides now what we have to do we have to now select the add grid grid equals is over we have to do scale bar and other uh, um, informations like uh, legend up to legend now um, give ok insert title insert text insert legend everything is there in the insert button you have to give your geomorphology i will type uh, now i can do the ornament of uh, like uh, oh, this morphology you can change the, the symbol uh, you can take the templates uh, symbols which is already existing in the rgis uh, i know otherwise uh, yes i'm taking ocean uh, i'm changing the font size uh, bold and give okay apply and uh, you just see that it is coming okay now you rearrange where you want to keep your title you keep map layout is very important uh, for parameter to be uh, checked to be done it in uh, rgis and go to uh, legend uh, sorry uh, yes north arrow i am selecting uh, you have plenty of options to select and then keep your north arrow with respect to the size of the map it always to be neat um, always represented in the north northern side of the picture and select scale bar as you wish you have many options and you can have a discussion with the geographers for selecting all this because they only teach me cartography how to do it because this is very very important part for part that the uh, thing is important serving is more important and apply it with two equal grids because you don't need to give much because if it is a bigger map you can give is a very small map accordingly scale bar has to be changed and now you select for uh, the scale bar uh, font informations and you give ok bold make it bold and give ok and you can, instead of uh, miles you can select kilometers maybe up or above center you do it it will be very easy so it has good appearance 
Now scale bar is over, north is over, and the legend now we have to bring. So what legend we want? Geomorphology, which is added already. The next. So click next. It will take little time, uh, and then you have to give now the area, uh, and then now the font, everything. It already it is automatically coming, and you keep your legend uh, wherever you want to place it in the map. You just place it. So map window is here, and uh, legend window is here. The properties, if you take, and then. Uh, you give uh, in the reference system properties like uh, zero degree. Yeah, this you have to change, and then only what will happen. Uh, you see, now it's coming only one or two or three. Now you can change even the uh, you can you can make it five five so that you will get two two each on the top and bottom. Otherwise, it will be a clumsy. Now you change uh, five, nothing is coming so that you make it uh, uh, three. You make it three and see now also one or two is coming. Uh, labels in the labels you increase the font size, Arial, bold or any symbol you take uh, times to normal bold. Apply. Okay, make it uh, vertical labels. Left and right, um, give OK. Give OK on all sides so that you will get your all reference systems. All your reference systems are na now named with, uh, I mean, you give one one so that you will get, uh, yeah, now this is OK. Three on the top, two on the right side. It is fixed. This is how we have to do. The map should uh, be like this. Now it is uh, the lines. If you want to give the labels uh, properties, and uh, where you want to give, you want to give either on the top or on the bottom. You select and then uncheck. So automatically, this will not have any disturbance. Now you move your legend and keep on the position accordingly. Yes, yes, now it is correct. So this you remove feature class, it will it will be removed here. Only the legend title and legend names will come. Even if you don't want geomorphology because you want legend, you just uh, remove it in the table of content. Automatically this will be removed in your uh, layout window. You can also make a frame for this. And there are many properties, legend properties, you just work it out with different buttons like items, layout, frames, uh, size and position. So it's, uh, it's good here uh, for you to do it everything. And then accordingly your map, uh, I mean uh, the legend size will be fixed. Yes. Like this you just change and then keep your legend more visible. And keep it in the appropriate position. So this is how we have to do it uh, with uh, the map layout uh, for all uh, uh, the properties. Uh, I think with this uh, the lecture is coming to an end uh, for the creation of map layout and uh, yeah, and its elements in GIS. Thanking you.